Hello students from 4th grade, hola estudiantes de cuarto grado, what we're going to do today is read a lot. Lo que vamos a hacer el día de hoy es leer mucho. We're going to read a lot, so I want you to follow my reading and I want you to do it as well. Así que lo vamos a seguir, vamos a leer. En clase ya lo hemos hecho. De hecho, esto ya lo hicimos en la clase que tuvimos, leer estas leyendas, más leyendas urbanas. Ok, so here we go. Let's start reading Unknown Legends. This is the first legend that we have. The moon, the moon, excuse me, and the sun. The moon and the sun. Some people say moon. So I'm just saying like a, like a U, like extended U. Como una U extendida. Moon. Moon. Recuerden que cada vez que encuentran ustedes una doble O, la pronunciación es una U. U. Como una U, pero no como una U, como la que nosotros usamos, como unido. No, no es moon. Es moon. Moon, something like that. But it's okay if you say like, like a you. It's okay. Let's start. Remember to follow my reading. Mexico. The moon and the sun. At the beginning of times, there was only obscurity. The star that gave light was not that bright. And all the gods that lived in Teotihuacan, the divine city, wanted to create another star that would give them more light. So they came up with an idea. They started a fire so big and scary that not even them would get near it. It was a powerful fire. The men brave enough to get in there would become the next star of the universe. So here we have the big fire. And remember, there was not enough light. Where does the story happen? Where is this story from? You can find the answer here. When? When it began? You can also find the answer here. Many powerful men talked about it, but none of them was brave enough. There were only two men who decided they wanted to try to become the sun. The first man was handsome, powerful, rich, and all of the people of the divine city loved him. The second was skinny, small, ugly, and poor, and no one knew him. But the most important difference between both men was the things they had to offer. And here we can see both of them. The man that was rich, handsome, powerful. The other one skinny, poor, and they had things to offer. Here we can ask a question, how were them? How they were? Okay, let's go to the next page. Remember we were saying that what they had to offer, remember the word offer? Ofrecer. The rich man offered his fortune if they would let him jump. The second one, he only had his heart and good intentions to offer, for he had nothing else to give. The time came, and the rich man approached the fire, but he wasn't brave enough and ran away. He ran away. He escaped. He's leaving his money and his jewels and all his treasures behind, because he's running. He's scared of the fire. The poor one, he really was a brave man and jumped off to the fire without even thinking about it. And that is how he became the sun. And here we can see him jumping into the fire. Look at the face of this man. He's so surprised. And also this one here. Remember they were gods, not men actually. So they were really surprised of the courage that this man had. He was really brave. When both stars were shining on the universe, God decided there couldn't be two stars shining at the same time. So they grabbed a rabbit that was crossing by and sent him to the first star. 
Remember that they had light, but they wanted more. So they already had a star, the moon, but they needed the sun. So in this case, they took, as it says here, a rabbit that was passing by, but was crossing by, they caught him and throw it straight to the moon, to the first star. The rabbit flew and landed so hard on the star that he moved it away from Earth, so that way it wouldn't be as bright as the sun. That day the moon was created. On a full moon, you can still see the rabbit up there. Yeah, he's the rabbit. And he's on the moon. Let's see the next legend. The next legend comes from Africa. The name of the legend is We All Live Here. That is the title. The sun and the moon were very good friends. They laughed all day and had a great time, so they decided they were going to live together. They built up a magical place, so big, you couldn't even imagine it. So they started living together. The sun worked during the day, and the moon during the night. They were really happy and remained good friends. And here we have them, sharing a good time living together. One day, the sun had an amazing idea. What if we invite the ocean to come live with us? He told the moon. The moon wasn't so sure. Hmm. Well, maybe it is a good idea. But what if it is too big for our house? What will we do? We will build another even one bigger. We will build another one even bigger, said the sun. And the sun went looking for the ocean. When he found him, he talked to him about his plan. He wasn't sure and said, mm, I'm afraid, my dear friend, I am too big for your house. And here's the ocean telling Tad, I am too big for your house. No, you will fit, I am sure. Please come join us. The ocean believed in his friend, and when they were outside the house, the moon came out and greeted him. Come in, come in, the ocean warned them. Are you really sure about this? I am really big. Yes, both the moon and the sun said. Please come in. When the ocean came inside, he started flooding the living room, then the rooms, and as he started growing more and more, the sun and the moon had to move up higher. It was all flooded, so they start to move higher, up, arriba. Se movieron hacia arriba, más y más arriba. The ocean continued flooding everything until there was even barely small space between the moon and the sun. So they decided to go even higher until they reached the stars. When they were up there, they realized how good it felt and how big it was. So they told the ocean he could keep it their house to take good care of it. They will be up in the space looking at the universe. And that's the reason we have the ocean, and above, in the space, we have the moon, and the sun. I think that was a great story, a great legend, wasn't it? Okay, let's see the next one. This is a Celtic legend. The sun, the moon, and the stars. At the beginning of times, there were the gods, the sun, and the moon. There were no planets, earth, or stars. The moon and the sun lived happy together. They were in love. But then the gods decided to create the earth and the other planets. When it was created, they realized it needed some light. One to be the morning light and one to be the night light. They separated the moon and the sun. They were so sad and happy and unhappy, excuse me, especially the moon. Look, they are apart. The sun and the moon are separated. The sun, looking at his beloved moon, crying all day, went to the gods and asked them to help the poor moon feel less lonely. The gods feeling sorry for her, they decided to help her, and they created the stars to be the eternal partners of the moon. That way, if the moon was really sad and she couldn't shine as strong as she should, the stars would help her bring light to the earth and she wouldn't be as lonely. Well, that was a great story as well. 
Look, we have here the stars taking care of the moon so she can't feel lonely anymore. They are together for the eternity. So let's go to the next page and start writing. First of all, think about a legend of your country and community. Share it with the class. We know legends, we already have seen them. We have the Volcanoes legend, we have the Malinche, excuse me, not Malinche, but uh, the Jorona legend, and we also have much more than that. We have the uh, legends in, in places like Guanajuato that has a lot of story. We have a lot of legends there. So we can write them here. The foundation of Tenochtitlan, any of them. Number two, we'll write the sentences in the correct order. This is something that you need to do. So I'm going to give you some time. I'm going to pause the video and so you can uh, so you can answer that. You have your reading book so you can do it right away. So here's the pause to check the answers. An idea so they came up with. Well, this is the correct order. So they come up with an idea. The son is how he and that became. And that is how he became the sun. Moon that day was created there. That day the moon was created. Let's do exercise 3. Circle the correct word to complete the sentence. Again, I'm going to give you some time. So please pause the video and answer this. This is the pause. So here we go. Now the answer. These are the answers. They built a magical place so big you could even imagine it b they were really happy and remained good friends c he wasn't sure then said i am afraid my dear friend i am too big for your house the ocean letter d when they were up there they realized how good it felt and how big it was and in this case we have adjectives remember we did See uh, adjectives in previous video? Let's solve the next page, okay? I am going to give you again some time so you can match it. You're going to match the letters, you're going to write them here in each of the pictures. Let's take some time for that. Pause the video and work on that. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Okay, pause is over. Let's check what you did. Here we go. And they created the stars to be the eternal partners of the moon. Stars and moon. Stars and moon. So here we have letter A. Now letter B. So they grabbed the rabbit that was crossing by and sent him to the first star. Rabbit. Here we have the shape of a rabbit. So that should be letter B. And finally. So they told the ocean he could keep their house and to take good care of it, they would be up in the space looking at the universe. That's right, that's letter C. I hope you like that. So as a homework, this is something that you should do. Okay? What you're going to do is to answer these questions. Tarea, identificar las leyendas que se leyeron, the three legends that were read. When did the legend take place? For example, the first one. What you're going to do is to write the name of the legend, the moon and the sun, and then you're going to answer all of the questions. When did the legend take place? Here it says, at the beginning of times. At the beginning of times. And continue writing that, okay? And so and so and so and so and so. Where did it happen? Where it happened, the legend? Okay, here we have a couple of places. Mexico, and here we have the name of the late, of the, the Bind City. Teotihuacan or Mexico, you can write that. And you can do the rest of that. Who were the characters in this story? What happened in the story? How did it end? And the same can be done for the second legend. We all live here. Who were the characters? Well, the sun, the moon, the ocean, and so on. So, please do that, and I see you in the next class. Take care. Bye-bye.